Hey, Pop Shoppers, welcome to Ed Rambo's little corner of the world. You to me are sweet as roses in the morning. You to me are soft as summer rain at dawn and love we share. That's something rare. The sidewalks in the street, the concrete and the clay beneath my feet begins to crumble. But love will never die. Good evening, everyone. This is Ed Rambo, and I want to thank you all for joining me again tonight in my little corner of the world. Since my birthday is coming up on June 30th, I thought I'd take this opportunity to celebrate the birthday of another composer who was born two days before me on June 28th. A few years earlier, however, for he was born June 28th, 1902. Within his lifetime, he gave us more than 900 songs and 43 Broadway musicals. He also composed music for films and television. He is best known for his songwriting partnerships with the lyricists Lorenz Hart and Oscar Hammerstein II. His compositions have had significant impact on popular music up to the present day and have an enduring, broad appeal. I'm speaking, of course, about none other than the incomparable Richard Rogers who was the first person to win what are considered the top show business awards in television, recording, movies, and Broadway. An Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony, now known collectively as an EGOT. He has also won a Pulitzer Prize, making him one of two people, Marvin Hamlish being the other, to receive this award. To begin this tribute to the great Richard Rogers, I'd like to start off with one of his show tunes from the 1940s, Rogers and Hart's musical Pal Joey, where it was introduced by the great Gene Kelly and Lila Ernst. So I hope you enjoy my rendition of I Could Write a Book. If they ask me, I could write a book about the way you walk and whisper and look I could write a preface on how we met so the world would never forget and the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you an awful lot Then the world discovers as my book ends How to make two lovers a friend I Could Write a Book can be found on my CD, Until the Real Thing Comes Along, available at edrambo.com on the Music tab. This next selection is another one of Richard Rogers' show tunes from the 1940 Rogers and Hart musical Higher and Higher, where it's introduced by Shirley Ross. It's a wonderful ballad entitled, It Never Entered My Mind. Once I laughed 
when I heard you say that I'd be playing solitaire, uneasy in my easy chair. It never entered my mind Once you told me I was mistaken That I'd awaken with the sun And order orange juice for one It never entered my mind You have what I lack myself And now I even have to scratch my back myself Once you warned me that if you scorned me I'd say a lonely prayer again And wish that you were there To get into my hair again It never entered To celebrate the great Richard Rogers, here's another one of his wonderful show tunes. This one comes from the 1937 Rogers and Hart musical, Babes in Arms. It was first performed by Ray Heatherton and Mitzi Green, and also appeared in the movie of the same name two years later. Dion and the Belmonts also released a successful remake of this song, which reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in January of 1960. In 1963, The Letterman released their version as a single, which peaked at number 98 on the Hot 100. It's a classic ballad entitled Where or When, and I hope you enjoy my version. It seems we stood and talked like this before we looked at each other in the same way then But I can't remember where or when The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore The smile you are smiling, you were smiling then but I can't remember where or when Some things that happened for the first time Seem to be happening again So it seems that we have met before And laughed before And loved before But who knows where or when But who knows where or 
That was Where or When, and you just heard three songs written by Richard Rogers with lyrics by Lorenz Hart. Rogers also collaborated with the celebrated Oscar Hammerstein II. Personally, I prefer the lyrics of Lorenz Hart to Oscar Hammerstein's. I find Lorenz Hart's lyrics to have been much more clever, whereas Oscar Hammerstein's lyrics tended to be a bit more poetic and flowery. To give you an example of the difference between the two, this is just one of many songs that demonstrates the cleverness of Hart. In a mountain greenery where God paints the scenery, just two crazy people together. While you love your lover, let blue skies be your coverlet. When it rains, we'll laugh at the weather. Beans could get no keener reception in a beanery. Bless our mountain greenery home. Whereas Oscar Hammerstein wrote lyrics more like this. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky So I'm sure you can see the difference between Hart's cleverness versus Hammerstein's poetry. Hammerstein did, however, demonstrate a bit of cleverness with the lyrics from my next selection. Before playing it, I'd like to preface it with the fact that I did all the voices on this recording. I was bored one day and decided to do a major undertaking. The song comes from the 1959 Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, The Sound of Music. Within the story, it is used by Maria to teach the notes of the major musical scale to the Von Trapp children, who learn to sing for the first time, even though their father has disallowed frivolity after their mother's death. Now remember, I'm doing all the voices of the children as well. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Do Re Mi. Let's start at the very beginning A very good place to start When you read you begin with A, B, C When you sing you begin with Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti. Hmm. Let's see if I can make it easier. Do, a deer, a female deer. Re, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run. So a needle pulling thread La, a note to follow so Tea, a drink with jam and bread That will bring us back to Do, oh, oh, oh Do. A deer, a female deer A drop of golden sun Now children, do, re, mi, fa, so, and so on are only the tools we use to build a song. Once you have these notes in your heads, you can sing a million different tunes by mixing them up, like this. So, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. Can you do that? So, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. So, do, la, 
ti do re do so do la ti do re do now let's put it all together so do la fa mi do re so do la ti do re do good but it doesn't mean anything so we put in words one word for every note like this when you know the notes to sing you can sing most anything together when you know the notes to sing you can sing most anything do Jam and bread that will bring us back to do. Do re mi fa so la ti do do mi la so fa mi mi do mi 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti do mi 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti. When you know the notes to sing. Me a name I call myself. Far a long, long way to run. So a needle pulling thread. La a note to follow. So tea a drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to do. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Yes, I can still remember the day I recorded that one. It took me about four hours to put the whole thing together, so I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you who may have just tuned in, you're listening to Ed Rambo, and this is My Little Corner of the World on oldiesyourway.com. Tonight's theme, a tribute to the great Richard Rogers to celebrate his birthday, which is two days from tonight, June 28th. Let's move on now to a song from the 1945 film State Fair, with music by Richard Rogers and lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein II. It won the Academy Award for Best Original Song that year. State Fair was the only original film score by Rogers and Hammerstein. In the film, the song was sung by Jean Crane, who played Margie Frake, uh, but was dubbed by Luann Hogan. Dick Hames, the original Wayne Frake, made the first hit recording of the song, followed by another hit recording by Frank Sinatra on his 1961 album Sinatra and Strings. It's a terrific song, which I'm sure you'll all remember. It might as well be spring. I'm as restless as a willow in a windstorm. I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string I'd say that I had spring fever but I know it isn't spring I am starry eyed and vaguely discontented 
Like a nightingale without a song to sing Oh, why should I have spring fever When it isn't even spring I keep wishing I were somewhere else Walking down a strange new street Hearing words that I have never heard From a girl I've yet to meet I'm as busy as a spider Spinning daydreams I'm as giddy as a baby On a swing I haven't seen a crocus Or a rosebud Or a robin On the wing But I feel so gay In a melancholy way That it might as well be spring It might as well be spring. That was It Might As Well Be Spring, which can be found on my CD entitled Rainy Days. In 1951, Rodgers and Hammerstein gave us another awesome musical entitled The King and I. And from that celebrated musical, here's my version of Hello, Young Lovers. chance that you meet and you meet not really by chance don't cry young lovers whatever you do don't cry 
cry because I'm alone. All of my memories are happy tonight. I've had a love of my own. I've had a love of my own like yours. I've had a love of my own. I'd like to close this tribute to Richard Rogers with a song composed by him with lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein II, written for their 1945 musical Carousel, where it was, where it was introduced by John Raitt. I'm sure it's the longest song ever to be performed in a Broadway show, up until that time, that is. The now jobless carousel barker Billy Bigelow, the anti-hero of the musical, sings this seven and a half minute song just after he has learned he is about to become a father. In it, he happily daydreams over what it would be like to be a father to a boy, but midway through the song, he is horrified and disappointed to realize that it could turn out to be a girl. The song immediately becomes more tender as he begins to like the idea. At song's end, he considers that a girl needs the very best a father can offer and decides to get money to provide for her. It is this idea that spurs him on to help his criminal pal Jigger in committing a robbery, an act which ultimately leads to personal disaster for Billy. Please enjoy my version of this wonderful and lengthy song titled Soliloquy. I wonder what he'll think of me. I guess he'll call me the old man. I guess he'll think I can lick every other fella's father. Well, I can. I bet that he'll turn out to be the spitten image of his dad. But he'll have more common sense than his puddin-headed father ever had. I'll teach him to wrestle and dive through a wave When we go in the mornings for our swim His mother can teach him the way to behave But she won't make a sissy out of him Not him Not my boy Not Bill Bill, my boy Bill, I will see that he's named after me, I will. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree, will Bill. Like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try To boss him or toss him around No pot-bellied, baggy-eyed bully will boss him around I don't give a damn what he does As long as he does what he likes He can sit on his tail or work on a rail With a hammer, a hammer and spikes He can ferry a boat on a river Or pedal a pack on his back Or work up and down the streets of the town With a whip and a horse and a hack he can haul a scow around a canal Or run a cow around a corral Or maybe bark for a carousel Of course it takes talent to do that well He might be champ of the heavyweights Or a fellow that sells you glue Or president of the United States That'd be alright too 
His mother would like that, but he wouldn't be president unless he wanted to be. Not Bill. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Will Bill, like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No fat bottom, flabby faced, hot bellied, baggy eyed bastard'll boss him around. And I'm damned if he'll marry his boss's daughter A skinny-lipped virgin with blood like water Who'll give him a peck and call it a kiss And look in his eyes through a lorgnette Say, why am I taken on like this? My kid ain't even been born yet <laughs> I can see him when he's 17 or so And starting in to go with a girl I can give him lots of pointers very sound And the way to get round any girl I can tell him Wait a minute Could it be? What the hell? What if he is a girl? Bill. Ah, oh, Bill. What would I do with her? What could I do for her? Me, a bum with no money. You can't have fun with a son, but you've got to be a father to a girl. She mightn't be so bad at that. A kid with ribbons in her hair, a kind of neat and petite little tin type of her mother what a pair and i can just hear myself bragging about her my little girl pink and white like peaches and cream is she my little girl is half again as bright as girls were meant to be. Dozens of boys pursue her, many a likely lad does what he can to woo her from her faithful dad She has a few pink and white young fellas of two and three But my little girl gets hungry every night and she comes home to me. I gotta get ready before she comes. I gotta make certain that she won't be dragged up in slums with a lot of bums like me. She's gotta be sheltered and fed and dressed in the best that money can buy. I never knew how to get money, but I'll try, by God, I'll try. I'll go out and make it, or steal it, or take it, or die.
Both Soliloquy and the previous song, Hello Young Lovers, can be found on my CD entitled Five Minutes Mr. Rambo. Hope you enjoyed this little tribute to Mr. Richard Rogers, and since his birthday is only two days away, let's all shout out a very happy birthday to the amazing Richard Rogers. Thanks for the music, Richard. It will remain in our minds and hearts forever. I think my favorite piece he's ever written was the musical composition Slaughter on 10th Avenue, written as a ballet from On Your Toes, choreographed by George Balanchine in 1936. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's worth checking out on YouTube. There are several there, but the best I found was the one by Stanley Black, conducting the London Festival Orchestra. With that being said, this is Ed Rambo, and from my little corner of the world to yours, here's wishing you an awesome night as you stay tuned for more of Stu Weiss and his wonderful pop shop. Take it away, Stu, as I say good night with buckets of love, everyone. Stu Weiss and his wonderful pop shop on oldieshowway.com.